Welcome back to a brand new episode of Mastering Programming. In today's episode, we'll be creating the following application where you can select the camera and then take a photo and you'll be able to display it or also select a photo from your photo library and also display it inside your application. Now, I already did actually create an application and gave a tutorial on it where you can select a photo from your library, but it was a little bit messy. So I decided I'll just do this whole thing again and also include um, the photo from the camera just to make, just to keep things more um, clean and actually help you guys out because the other one was a bit confusing, but I will still link it in the description just in case you wanna have a look at it. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Welcome back guys, so I hope you did enjoy the intro. Now I'm not gonna talk much about this because I already kind of made a video on it, but I'm just like enhancing it or optimizing it. So the first thing we're going to do is simply paste or I will paste um, the objects and variables we need to use. So they're all variables, they're all states, and here they are. So simply copy this or um, type it in uh, into your project and then let's get started. So we will first create this view right here. But before we do that, let's create the structure and the class that we're actually going to be using. So let's go ahead and after this struct, so underneath it, simply type in struct and then go ahead and say image picker and give that UI view controller rep presentable. Open it and close it. And inside of here, we're going to be creating two different functions. So the first one is func. Then we're going to say make coordinator. And inside of here, we're actually going to be passing or returning, sorry, return image picker dot coordinator. And then we're going to say parent. Oh, sorry, parent one self. And this will actually give you an error right now, and that's because we still haven't created all the other stuff. I'm just doing it in order to make things easier. So don't worry about the error that you're seeing on right now. Now, what we need to do before we actually continue is to create two binding objects. So we're going to say at, and then we're going to say binding, and then we're going to say show, and we're going to give that a value of bool. Next, we're going to say binding, and we're going to say var image data. Last but not least is a variable called source, and we're going to say UI image picker controller dot source type. After we created that, we can move forward and create the second function. So we're simply going to say func, and we're going to say update UI view controller. And we can go ahead and select the first one. However, we can actually, oh, it's actually correct. I thought we we're gonna to have to remove something, but we don't. So let's go ahead and remove this. And inside of this, we can actually leave it empty. So after this function, we then need to create a class and we're going to call it coordinator. It's going to be of NS object. UI image picker controller delegate. And then UI navigation controller delegate. Now we're actually going to be creating our parent. So we're going to say var parent and we're going to say image picker. Underneath that, we're going to say init and then we're going to say parent one image picker. And we're going to say that parent is equal to parent one. So after that, we actually need to create a function and it's going to be called image picker controller did cancel 
So this is just in, in the situation where someone presses on the button, uh, presses on photo library and then presses on cancel. And we're just going to say self, sorry, self dot parent dot show dot toggle. After that, we actually need to handle if the user does not press and cancel. So we're going to be creating a new function and we're going to be called it image picker controller. And this one, it's going to be picker UI image and it's just pretty much the first one. Did finish packing media with info, UI image controller info with any, and then inside of here, we're going to say let image equal to info dot original image as UI image. After that, we need to also pass in the data. And we're simply going to say image dot PNG data. We're going to say self the parent dot image is equal to data. And then we're going to say self dot parent dot show dot toggle. So now that we actually completed our functions, now we need to uh, continue our view. But first, let's go ahead and check out this error that we're getting. So we can go to full screen for now. And it says here that reference to, inval re reference to invalid associated type UI view control type of type image picker. So let's actually see what we need to do. I believe what we are actually meant to do here is simply provide a returns type. So over here, we just simply need to say UI image picker controller. Let's see if this works. Okay. Oh, okay. Sorry, I completely picked the wrong thing. So <laughs> this is completely wrong. It's meant to be UI view controller. And then you're meant to say UI image picker controller. There we go. So we eliminated this error. Now let's go ahead and see the other one. So this one is struct image picker and it says type does not confirm to protocol. Let's actually see why it does not confirm to our protocol. So make coordinator. We have this image, the coordinator, and then we're returning the coordinator. We then have this make UI view controller. Okay, so we're actually missing a function, and I'm just going to add it right now. And all it is is simply func make UI view controller. And let's just make that the representable is correct. And we have everything here correct. And now we can actually start fixing this. So we can say let controller is equal to UI image picker controller. And then we can you say controller dot source type is equal to source. And here we're going to say controller dot delegate is equal to context dot coordinator. And then, of course, after all of this, we need to return the coordinator, uh, the controller, sorry. So hopefully now, if I press on command B, we should be out of errors and we are. Great. Now, all we need to do is simply create the view. So let's go ahead and actually open our canvas and Xcode lag. So let me just make sure we minimize it. 
Okay, so now we're going to be creating this view and actually using it. We created all the logic, now we need to create the view. So this is actually pretty easy, and the first thing I want to do is simply remove the text hello world. And I'm going to start by adding a navigation view. So I'm simply going to say navigation. And inside of that navigation view, we're going to be adding a stat. And inside of that, we're going to be first adding a navigation link. with a destination to the image picker that we just created below. So I'm going to say image picker and I'm going to open the bracket and then press enter. And now all we need to do is simply fill in all these details. So I'm actually going to remove the canvas because there's no point of it. We're just simply creating this and for show we're simply going to pass in image picker for image, we're going to be passing image data. For our source, we're going to simply be passing source. And then for this row, we're going to say is active and it's going to be image picker. So let me actually maximize this view so you can see exactly what's going on. So this is completely wrong. So inside of the destination, we want to have is active and then a bracket and inside of is active, we want to have dollar sign image picker. This should work. Sorry, give me a second. All right, so I have a here and this is how I'm going to do it. I'm just gonna copy and paste it to be honest. And this is, <laughs> this is now correct. So after that, we need to actually work on the VStack. So I'm going to add it. Let's see if we're going to say VStack. Inside of our VStack, that's when we're actually going to be creating everything else. So first we need to check if there is actually a photo available. So we're going to say if image data dot count is not equal to zero. So if we do have an image, we want to create an image. And we're going to say that it's a UI image. And then we actually want it to be that image that we just passed in from here. And force unwrap this because we already checked if it does exist or not. And then I'm going to be adding some modifications to make it look exactly how it looked like in the simulator. So I'm simply going to copy and paste this like this. Control A, Control I to make things look better. And now we have how we, we have it formed exactly how we want it to look like. So after this, over here we're simply going to say else. So now what happens if we don't actually have a photo? We simply need to copy the exact same thing. Paste it here. And inside of here, I actually want it to be a system image. So I'm simply going to say system name, string, and then I'm going to say person dot fill. And in order to use the system names, make sure you have installed the SF symbols from Apple. I'll leave a link for that in the description. So after this, after we got this done, make sure you're not you're after this bracket. And now we're going to add the button. So the button that allows you to take a photo. So let's go ahead and simply say button then we're going to pass in an action and inside of our action here all i'm going to say is simply self dot show dot toggle and then he sorry give me a second one minute oh okay and then inside of here i'm going to say text and I'm going to say take a photo. So this is exactly how it was in the simulator. After that, let's modify this text. So I'm going to say dot frame, and I'm going to give it a width of 150. 
a height of 150 and then for alignment let's just put it in the center dot center perfect after this let's simply say dot background and we're going to say color dot green now let's go ahead pause for a second and see what the actual issue is so right here we have the button oh there we go we don't have the issue anymore <laughs> okay um so after that we need to create the action sheet and this is pretty much what happens when you press this so this is called an action sheet and you can get to select whether you want a photo library or the camera so let's go ahead and after the text there is a bracket i want you to go to the bracket underneath and simply say action sheet and we want to select the first one and we're going to say dollar show and we can safely remove this and inside of here we're going to be adding an action sheet and we're going to say title is equal to text take a photo or select from photo library so it's pretty much that message take photo or select from photo library let's go ahead and pass in a message and it's going to be a text and just leave it as empty this is just so that we don't get some errors and after that let's actually create our buttons default and then we're going to say text photo library we're going to give an action and our action is simply going to be self dot source is equal to photo library and then we're going to say self dot image picker dot toggle. Now we actually want to provide a label for this, so this will simply be dot default, and we're going to say text camera. So all we just did right now is simply created this button, the camera. And now what we need to do is actually complete this. So after the camera, after the first bracket, we need to add an action. So I'm simply going to say action. Open and close a bracket. And then let's go ahead and say self dot source is equal to dot camera. And then we can say self dot image picker dot toggle just like this and right now you have actually completed the app all right so we finally managed to complete the app and as you can see this is how it actually looks like on my phone so when you press on the button you get the picker that we were building and now i'm going to take a photo of myself if i press use photo it will be displayed and then i'll also show you that you can use it in the photo library so i'm going to pick or select a photo of my dog and as you can see it also displays it properly so i'm just going to keep doing some examples but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this channel. I know this episode was a bit confusing and a bit long. Um, I will try make a newer version, maybe a simpler one. But for now, this is all I have. So sorry for that. Anyways, please remember to leave a like and a subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you next time.